everyone. So you want to know how coaster brakes work? Well, you've come to the right spot. Now this is a Bendix coaster brake. It is from a 40 or 50 year old Columbia bicycle. Most coaster brakes work just like this one. Coaster brake hubs contain many internal parts, so they do look a bit wide compared to other hubs. Here's the empty hub. Notice the lip on the inside. That's the cog or drive side. It's the side with the chain. Now let's look at what goes inside this hub. You have a drive side that has a screw. The screw is attached to the cog and it rotates clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the pedaling direction. Fitting over the screw is the clutch. This clutch has a matching thread so it moves back and forth as the rider either pedals forward or puts on the brakes by pedaling backwards. It also disengages when not pedaling, allowing the bicycle to coast freely, hence the name coaster brake. Next is the drive side expander that either floats in the center or is pushed left by the clutch. Opposite that is a fixed side expander. Both expanders together, the drive side and the fixed side, squeeze and spread the brake shoes. Now that you have the overview, I'll explain exactly how it works. The drive screw rotates with the pedals. The clutch has a matching thread that goes over the drive screw, so it moves left when pedaled forward and it moves right when pedaled backwards. Pedaling backwards moves the clutch right, which pushes the drive side expander, wedging it into the brake shoes between the fixed and the drive side expanders. These brake shoes expand and rub against the inside of the hub, causing the bike to stop. Now, just for repetition, let's look at the full assembly. In this picture, pedaling backwards expands the brake shoes and they rub against the hub, acting as a brake. In the next picture, pedaling forward tightens the clutch against the rim, locking it on the inside lip. Pedaling forward moves the wheel forward. And here's a demonstration. Turning the cog back and forth, back and forth, moves the clutch first towards and then away from the cog. This is because of the internal screw over which the clutch sits. Pedaling forward locks the clutch onto the wheel, making the bike move forward. Reverse pedaling releases the lock on the wheel, pushing the driver towards the brake shoes and expanding the brake shoes against the inside of the hub. This stops the wheel and the bike. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video on how coaster brakes work.